Hey guys, welcome back to the TRC channel. We're almost reaching 100 subscriber guys, so thank you all for the support. And this video, I wanna show you a little troubleshooting video if you have a no post, no display with your mining or your normal motherboard. Uh, so I'll show you step by step on how to work through these because I want to do the same thing myself and I'll tell you in the end what happened. Uh, okay, so first things first, you got no display. So what do you do? Uh, you check maybe that you have your VGA in the correct port in the, in the PCIe uh, 16 lane. It should be in this one. You can have your, uh, at least if you have one VGA in the other lane, you should always start with the main PCIe 16. Um, so uh, let's say uh, the VGA was there. It can work, but usually sometimes some board don't like it, so it should be always in the PCIe 16 lane. So it doesn't work. Okay, you take up the GPU, you try to connect to the onboard uh, graphics here, and you should try to boot. If you, sh if you still get a no post, uh, so it's uh, something else. It's not the VGA, so I would recommend, secondly, that you take off all the USB ports connected. It could be that the device is failing or a USB device that your board doesn't like. So uh, you take out everything and you try again rebooting. It doesn't work, nothing, no post yet, so we'll move on to next things. Uh, some things, sometimes guys, if it's a used board or a pre-built, wanna make sure that you know all the cables are correctly put and the correct way too. So here, as you can see here, uh, in, in here the CPU, CPU power, there's a way to put these from. You can't just put them in any way that you want. So uh, make sure here you have a little drawing, follow the format of putting it and they should latch. Another thing is very important here is the power from your PSU uh, towards the motherboard. So if this is not properly latched to, you won't get anything. And if you notice here, uh, this is, we have an extra power here. This is mainly for those weak GPUs that don't have any dedicated power. So you can uh, power drum to this thing here. And let's say after, okay, the thing not, nothing worked. Check compatibility. Is the CPU compatible with your board? Uh, I'll give you an example of what happened to me. Let's say I got uh, CP uh, my, my, my buddy of mine give me a uh, CPU, uh, an Intel Celeron for this. And I thought to myself, oh, it's the same socket. It's GL1151. So I put it in and I try and I thought, oh, it doesn't work. So it might be the cable, might be that, the GPU, might be the RAM. So I try troubleshooting everything. I'm telling you this and after it doesn't work, nothing. So after I checked the manual and the manual, they were this more with this board, the MSI z 390A Pro, they were not specific. They said, oh, you need Intel Celeron with LGA1151. And after I thought to myself, well, maybe there's different editions. I know with Core i3, i5, i7, there's editions. So maybe something to do with that. And it turns out I was right. It's the edition. There's edition two for the Celeron. So in the end, that everything was doing, all the steps here didn't work. And in the end, it ended up being compatibility, uh, compatibility. So always, guys, make sure your CPU, your RAM are compatible with your motherboard. It's crucial. It's the first step I would say even and let's say they're, they're compatible and it doesn't work so what you do uh, usually the RAM is always a big culprit so uh, you know you can't just put the RAM in any port that you want there's a, you check the manual always there's a there's a way to put these you can put these let's say one and uh, let's say sorry two and four you can't just put them in the first and last slot sometimes they don't like it if you have two uh, two RAM slots you can put it let's say in the two and four uh, you know, you, you have us follow the instructions on, on, your, uh, on your motherboard and usually if there's four, there's no problem. But if you have one or two, you can't put them in any order that you want. Also, make sure they're correctly set. Sometimes and they're incorrectly set, they won't work. Another option too, they're dirty. Sometimes if you buy used RAM, they're dirty. So what you can do, a little trick, is you can take out the RAM here and clean it with an eraser. It uh, does the trick, surprisingly. Also, uh, if it still doesn't work, if you have an extra RAM slot, DDR4 from their PC, take it and replace it. Put a new RAM slot and it's bound uh, sometimes to work. And usually the culprit is the RAM. If it's not the RAM, uh, one thing that could be if it's a used motherboard is that the user previous uh, to you uh, put on some weird settings in the motherboard and you know their settings are not compatible with your hardware. So what you can do is check the CMOS battery and you can just take off this battery. You take it off, you wait, 20 seconds, make sure you power, you, you keep on uh, pressing the, the power for the device. This will take out all the charge from the board and this will really reset the motherboard to default setting. So this is an important step because sometimes, you know, everything is okay, the cables are good, everything is compatible, but this, but you know, the, say, the user settings are bad. 
if you do that and still not working, you can try also replacing your PSU. Sometimes a bad PSU, even if everything turns on, sometimes you have a bad PSU, so it's worth replacing your PSU. And last thing, if nothing works, uh, make sure that the board is not uh, you know defective. Sometimes, you know, a little trick I did once I had an old board, I opened up the CPU from here, and I saw that the CPU, uh, the intake of the CPU, you know, uh, all the, the housing of it was all damaged. The pins were damaged. So, you know, if a CPU pins are damaged on the board, this thing is useless. You throw it to the garbage. Uh, so make sure that the CPU is intact and the pins that receive it on the board are uh, intact as well. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this little troubleshooting video was uh, helpful and please ask me if uh, you have any questions i'll be happy to respond to you uh, please like please subscribe uh, thank you for watching have a great one guys